back everyone 524 is the time if you've ever had a kidney stone chances are you remember the pain how could you forget it and if you've never had one doctors say your chances of getting one pretty good because one out of every eight people develop them but thanks to new technology at st david's round rock medical center getting those kidney stones out has gotten easier and less painful kate whitehall with a closer look in this austin health report well, apparently I am the uh, poster child for kidney stones. Tom Bishop became the poster child when he developed a stone that looked like this. Well, the first kidney stone, my memory was, it was about that big. It was about the size of a small chocolate chip cookie. But there was nothing sweet about it. This, this is his no. eight-inch scar to prove it. So they had to actually, take, actually pulled the kidney out of the body while it was still attached. Cut it open, remove the stones, put it back together, and stuck it back in. Nine days in the hospital, and seven weeks later, he recovered. That was 10 years ago. Now doctors at St. David's Round Rock Medical Center have new technology that only leaves a small scar. Right here. Any problems here? That's because the procedure accesses the kidney stone through the back. You only have to put one little tube about the size of your finger. Then you go in, and then you put a scope in, and, you know, go and find it and then suck it out. A medical jackhammer is what you see breaking up the pieces of the kidney stone before it's sucked out. Pieces Urologist so Lester awesome. Wang says the procedure is typically used for stones it's larger than two centimeters, but they can come in all sizes. They can go from anywhere from just a little fleck less than a millimeter to a kidney stone that's this big that fills up the entire kidney. For Tom, the new procedure made having a kidney stone not the worst thing in the world. I was in the hospital for one day, and it was about a five-day recovery. Kate Wydaw, KXAN, Austin News. Well, the doctor says most kidney stones develop in the body due to not enough water and way too much salt. If you frequently develop kidney stones, changing your diet could help you out a lot.